Mike Comtech coming to you with another video. Made some changes today inside the three foot dancing skeleton. Did a modifications, changed, uh, put in the uh, pulse width modulated controllers, motor speed controller. Got that installed. That's right up here at the top, right up here. It's right below the, right behind the arm joint here. I can remove this to, to uh, show that better. And I added a pulse generator here, a 555 pulse generator, and I put a uh, 0.47 microfarad capacitor in parallel with the other capacitor on board here. So I could uh, slow the speed down a little bit. I wanted to flash the eyes. Um, it would have been, a, it's like a different mode. I've got a mode switch on here. So if I would just pan back here just a little bit, you can see the eyes flashing. It's going to goose the camera because with all was changing the light. So I can, uh, right now it's in all time run mode. So it's kind of like what I did to Zoltar. Uh, I've got a mode here where the, he's not activated. If I want to have him, have him animate and uh, flash his eyes, then I can do that. Or I can throw the switch here in the back and uh, turn it completely off. So there's a center off position. So now there's completely off, but the circuit and the IR is still set to activate. I've got the infrared tucked behind the motor here, so it won't keep activating because it's very, very sensitive. And then I'm gonna put the switch in the all up position, or the, I'm sorry, the down position. And then now it'll run, if I kick him up, it will turn on the motor and then the eyes will just come on steady and then he'll have mouth movement with the audio. So if I would just bring out the IR here. <laughs> then he'll run through that routine normally. And then when the audio quits, then the this main relay then shuts down and then shuts off the uh, motor here and then shuts off the, L the LEDs. Unless I have the override switch turned on, then I can have it animate and then have the LEDs flash at the speed I want. And then these little, uh, Pulse generators have a, a trim pot, a, a precision trim pot. So I faced it the other way, drilled a small hole back here in the back, right here, drilled a small hole right here. And then that way I can get a screwdriver in there. If I want to change the speed of the LED, I can. So it's right there. Then here's my mode switch. And I have some support wires on here right now because I don't have the chest cavity on it. So it doesn't have full support here at the, uh, at the lower vertebrae, if you want to call it that, which it is, yes. And then, uh, so I put these on here so it wouldn't completely stress out that joint because it's only got half support right there right now. So then here's your main power on and off. So when it's off, everything's off. And then this is my mode switch. So then I can flip it up on to bypass and then have it run all the time with the animation and the eyes flashing, or I can go center completely off, or I can go down to normal mode. So when he kicks up, runs a routine, if somebody walks in front of him or gets close to him on the IR, then it will set that off automatically. Run the routine as long as the audio is, is running, the, the busy line that runs across here, this white wire right here, the busy line, as long as it's uh, as long as it's uh, basically uh, on this one, it's uh, set to high. So I had to set the relay to high on this one. So when that signal's high, this relay stays closed, keeps the motor energized, keeps the, the LEDs and the eyes lit up. But I can bypass that, which is kind of nice with the mode switch. You have a little more options. And then I may do a uh, bypass on the, R the infrared and only have it kick up uh, shut it down basically. I can just kill the uh, power to the red wire here. And then if I want to add a manual activation, then I would just basically short out between, short the uh, two pins here between the red and the yellow. And then that will fire it up uh, after the IR is disconnected. Or if you want to turn it on before something kicks the IR, if you shorted the red wire, 
and the yellow wire, it will turn on the audio board. And then of course dust, and when the audio board turns on and the relay closes, and then the whole sequence starts. And then when the sequence is done, relay de-energizes, de shuts the motor off, shuts the eyeballs off. Unless I have it overridden with the switch. So it's kind of like what, like I said, what I did with Zoltar, the, uh, the method. Is the method and the theory is all there on what to do. I mean, it's just a matter of switching. But I wanted the eyes to flash, so uh, I bought some of these from Amazon, the pulse generators, and utilized that. The, uh, let me take the arm off. You might be able to see that mod the uh, pulse width modulator a little bit better here. If I get up here. So it sits right here, and it's completely out of the way from this moving joint here. But that really worked good because that motor was running way, way too fast. Looks like he was running a marathon. It was unreal if I turned that all the way up. So the modules we have installed here now uh, just completely gutted this thing from the factory. Now, I did keep the other circuit board, and I put wires on it, labeled all and numbered it, and, re and then rewired that, put new wires on it. So, you know, never know. You might use that somewhere else. But uh, the boards would be the pulse generator for the flashing of the L the led eyes and then the relay is to kick up the whole all the motors and everything the uh, pwm uh, is for the speed control for just this motor right here for the head movement and the arms and then the jaw movement of course is all ran by the audio on the mosfet circuit and then there's an audio amplifier on this audio board and there's my sd card and then you have a the MOSFET circuit sits up here. Take the other arm off. The MOSFET circuit sits right in here, this area right here. So I basically I put the one that I air wired in here. I mean that was it's because it works perfectly fine. And then I just utilized it here on this project for now. And then of course I breadboarded another one, and then uh, utilized it uh, for the. Uh, clown witch that I have on the uh, other bench across the across the uh, room here but anyway I'm just documenting this uh, also for myself for my own notes is what I did so basically next on the list I want to uh, probably rig a, a disable here and then I'll put a manual override because actually there is a um, like from the factory they put a JST connector and you know, those little try me buttons they have on here. Well, that's already provisioned. There's two yellow wires here that I can use and I can solder those between the red and the yellow here. And if I did disable this or not disable the IR, and if I hit the button, then I can tr manually trigger the whole sequence for him to go. And then this is a board plays every MP3 that you have on here. Every time that it kicks up again, it goes to the next MP3. And then once that one's done, it goes to the next MP3. So, I mean, yeah, so it's going to play the first one. If I don't complete it, if I plug it back in, then it's going to play the first one that I, you know, just shut the power off. It's going to play that right from the beginning and then stop. So I think I've got like six different sayings or six different voices on here right now. Uh, I could put my own voice on. I could put your voice on. I mean, anybody's voice I could put on here, anything. I could have it recite a, a book, a poem, anything, and then a full mouth movement will uh, be generated from the MOSFET circuit right here. That's the great thing about it. And then I had to make a little modification, like I said in the other video, uh, put a 100 picofarad capacitor right here in the audio line. Uh, and that's where it uh, really, this on this particular amplifier, is, that's what it needed because that amplifier was apparently generating something that the uh, mouth didn't like and it would just lock wide open. So I put the capacitor in there and then that filtered that out. And I don't lose anything by that. So actually the whole thing is working as expected. Uh, actually it's met and exceeded my expectations on what it would do. Of course all this was tested on the bench first and then I, you know, I, I put it to use. But anyway, that's it. I will come back to you with some more videos and as always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.